Empowering refugees is not just a moral obligation. It is an investment in peace, stability, and the prosperity of our world. In recent years, the Rohingya refugee crisis has captured the world's attention as one of the most severe humanitarian crises. There are more than 10,000 refugees registered in Indonesia, and more than 90% of them coming to this country under smuggling. Greetings, I'm Taufik Korahman, from Faculty of Medicine, representing Universitas Negeri Gorontalo in Tilma Press National, 2023. As a medical student, it was really a concerning thing to me to find a solution of how we can tackle these issues. And so that's why I presented you a persuasive presentation with the title, Reducing Inequalities, a way for Indonesia to empower Rohingya refugees for a better tomorrow. The immigrant life is closely related to the 10 point of SDGs that aims to ensure social economy and political inclusion for all individuals irrespective of their immigration status. However, immigrants often face various forms of inequality and discrimination, making it crucial to address their rights and well-being to achieve this as December 10. The first thing that we can do towards empowering Rohingya refugees is to ensure their basic needs are met. By providing humanitarian assistance, Indonesia can elevate the sense of suffering and foster a sense of security. Collaborating with international organizations and local NGOs, the Indonesian government can establish refugee camps with adequate facility and access to essential services. This approach will not only be addressing the immediate challenges faced by the community, but also can create an enabling environment for their empowerment. Education is a powerful tool for empowerment and social mobility. That's why, by granting Rohingya children access to quality education, Indonesia can lay the foundation for a better future. Government also can collaborate with educational institutions, both public and private, to create a learning environment that is inclusive for these Rohingya children. Furthermore, vocational training can be established to equip Rohingya adults with marketable skills that will enable them to contribute directly to the local economy and finding financial independence in the future. Reducing inequalities also will require promoting social inclusion and community integration. That's why Indonesia can initiate programs that encourage interaction and cultural exchange between these two populations. This could be done through community engagement initiatives such as sport events, language festival, cultural festival, and etc. Indonesia can facilitate understanding, acceptance, and integration all at once because of this. Additionally, the Indonesian government can work together with the local organization to create employment opportunities for Rohingya refugees. Empowerment also will include involves ensuring legal protection and access to justice for Rohingya refugees. That's why government can collaborate with international human rights organizations to establish legal aid clinics that provide guidance and support towards the Rohingya community. Legal frameworks should be developed to safeguard their rights and address issues such as discrimination and exploitation. By ensuring equal treatment under the law, Indonesia can empower Rohingya refugees to assert their right and seek justice when needed. Lastly, by engaging in dialogue with other countries, particularly those in the region, Indonesia can encourage collective action and responsibility sharing in addressing the Rohingya crisis. By promoting empathy and understanding, Indonesia can inspire other nations to take proactive measures and to reduce inequalities and empower refugees in their respective countries. Reducing inequalities and empowering Rohingya refugees is a pressing humanitarian and moral imperative. Indonesia, however, with its history of providing refugees and its commitment towards human rights, has the opportunity to make a substantial impact. By taking these steps, Indonesia can serve as a model for the other nations in addressing these challenges faced by refugees and working towards a more equitable world. Just like what Khalid Hussein said, refugees are people like anyone else, like you and me. They like ordinary life before becoming displaced, and their biggest dream is to be living normally again. So the question is, would you be able to willingly help them? Thank you.